Destiny Beta is actually going to be open to everybody as of right now. Started at 4 p.m. Pacific today. It's around 7.30 right now, so you can download it on both you know, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PS4. But getting into the beta itself, what did you guys think of the beta so far? Um, whoever wants to go first. Uh, initially, um, I thought it was really good. I'm playing it on the PS3, which I was kind of curious to see if um, they put a lot of time into the PS3 and the 360 versions, and it does seem like they have. Uh, it, the only differences I've seen in the two versions are just the visuals. Um, there's no like gameplay or anything missing, but the uh, PVC stuff is really good. Uh, I'm still curious how uh, the, about the longevity of the game. Because with this being a kind of an MMO thing, I really don't see it lasting very long. Uh, you know, this whole 10-year plan that they have or whatever. Even though I know this is the beta, so we're only getting to see only so much. But just how the story and things are set up. Are we just going to be replaying the same little sections over and over again with you know more difficult AI? Or are we going to have a lot more maps to go through? Uh, that's my only issue for that. And on the PvP side... Initially, I had a lot of problems with balancing. I still that th I still think they're gonna have some issues with that, which any MMO really runs into that. But it feels like they did some balancing changes after the maintenance. Uh, I'm enjoying the PVP. An example: I use uh, single shot rifles and burst rifles, and when I played it before the maintenance, I felt like I was getting destroyed. There was no chance for me to 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 get a kill. And people using the automatic weapons were just just running amok through everything. But after the balancing stuff, I actually do a lot more damage, and I and I I'm actually competing for once, and it, it feels a lot better. But how about the rest of you? What do you think? No, I, I guess I'll jump in. So, and this is coming from a guy who's not really into like first-person shooters or competitive kind of games. I'm actually really impressed by this because. It's not exactly an MMO. It's not a first-person shooter. It's kind of like a good mix of both. And I, I think it's more of the promise of what it has. Like, if you guys seen the concept art for the game, there are uh, so many worlds. Like, there's, like, ice worlds. There's, like, so many other planets. I'm like, this is just a little taste of it. But, yeah, like, it's really fun just to get in there with a couple friends and you shoot. And I, they do the I, they do the carrot in front of the stick, right? It's like... It's like, okay, here's um, some armor. That's cool. Let me kill this guy. Maybe he'll give me something else. Maybe he'll give me something else. All that random loot drops I think is cool. And then I think they did someone to beta, which is very smart. Level cap is 8, and they give you level 10 shit. So you're like, I kind of want to get the game to get that ill shit too, you know? Um, and the PvP stuff, yeah, I, I, I kind of had the same issue with, with Charles. Like, I thought, it, like, because I used to, um, the, what's it called? Um, you know, um, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the, the, the rifles. Oh, um, the pulse rifle, yeah, like the pulse rifle, like the kick was too much on it, and then the um, scout rifle, that's the one, like it didn't, wasn't dealing enough ener like damage, but now they kind of balance it a little bit, so now I'm dealing more damage with that. It's just like a single shot kind of gun, and that's a lot of fun too, just getting in there with everybody. I mean, they only have two maps that I remember, but yeah, like the game, there's a lot of potential there. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to talk about like how this is going to do sales-wise compared to another shooting game, but maybe we get into that later. But yeah, for me, I'm very impressed by it. It's just very addictive. I like when I first played, it was like six hours. So I'll let you know right there. It's not a game that you're just gonna like, you know, stop playing. And like you said, Charles, like you worried about the longevity. I don't know if you have to worry too much about that, given how much stuff is potentially gonna be in there. But it could just be like that too. I don't know. So yeah, those are my initial thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, how about wait, Gary? Oh, oh, go ahead. Oh no. I was going to say, uh, well, yeah, you and Gary, because I will say something after y'all say what y'all going to say. Yeah, right, go ahead, Gary. Yeah, I, I really haven't, I probably haven't played it as much as you guys because I had a real busy week, um, you know, but I have managed to get on for like, you know, a few hours at a time. And um, from what I played, it's really fun. I haven't played any PvP stuff, so I've just been doing like, you know, little missions and stuff here and there. But, um, yeah, I really enjoy it so far. As someone who plays MMOs, you know, I like how you level up and uh, find new items and all that stuff, interact with other people. Um, yeah, all that stuff's cool. 
and I'm just really looking forward to the full game, the full experience at this point. But yeah, I'll pass it over to Mike. Um, let me think. So far, I mean, I haven't put probably as much time as you guys have in the um, beta as well either. Uh, but for me, I, to be honest with you, when I was playing it, like I love the environment. I love the way they present the world or the worlds. Sorry that you're in, like just the little things you do. It gave me almost like. I mean, I'm not saying that it is, but it gave me almost like a spiritual successor to Fancy Star Online kind of vibe to it. Um, okay, yeah. The way that I'm interacting with people and whatnot, um, the way people are, the, the way that people meet up and all that, and just the, I really love like just looking off into the horizon and looking at like the different views or whatnot of the, of space and time. Like, it's just really well done. Um, the combat to me. I don't know. I've never been a fan of shooters that require multiple hits to kill people. I know people make the argument that oh, there's more skill in games like that. I don't see. I don't see that. I see that as a cop out. To me, if you don't design maps where moving around the map in itself takes skill, then yeah, it'll be easy to make a game where you you have to unload an entire clip into someone to kill them. And I'm not really genuinely a fan of them. But I think that Destiny has a few weapons that kind of strike a balance with that. There's a few precision weapons. That like after the maintenance, like you get a couple, you get two, three headshots, they finally die. So I can respect that. Um, yeah. I don't know. I have to give it. I definitely have to put more time into it before I make any like lasting judgments. But I will say this: I do see Destiny going the way of Watch Dogs and other games of late. And it's not just because of Destiny; it's because of how games are. This game is not going to last. And I don't know why people don't see that this keeps happening. Like games come out. People hype them up, they play them for two weeks or two months, and then they get tired of them and move on to something else. Like, that's what's going to happen to Destiny. Especially well, with all the games that come out this holiday season and next year. Uh-oh. Uh, it's not specifically Destiny itself. I think Destiny is actually a quality game. It's the it's gamers themselves. Like I don't think gamers have the attention span or dedication to stick with games anymore. They always want something new, even if that's something new. It's just something old, repackaged. You know no, what? I was, I mean, I, like, my, yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll jump uh, in next. I was gonna say I, I agree in the sense that the the people that they are marketing Destiny to aren't gonna be the people that keep this game alive because it's a really really different group when you go from the MMO people to the to the you know casual shooter guys. They're, yeah. They're marketing it to those casual shooters and they're enjoying it right now during this beta phase, but. I don't think they're ready to make that full commitment to it. Um, and the fact that it's not a um, month-to-month pay build, I'm curious to see how long it's going to last. Because if they don't have... Um, like, the, the PvP is... If they keep balancing it like it is, that'll probably be one of the main draws. But those casual people won't understand that they need to go through the story to even progress through the PvP. Because if you come in there with the weapons... Like that, you start off with, you're gonna get destroyed, and the, the gear um, plays such a big part in it. I have a quick question that I would like to ask because you just brought it up when you said that there will not be a paid subscription. So how is that gonna work? Because I thought this is supposed to be an MMO um, where they're gonna continue to add more content as time goes on. So uh, I mean, do you, I, I don't maybe. know. The, the politics behind like the the business game, but I mean Guild Wars does it. You, you pay for the game, and it still operates like an MMO. There there may I don't know if they're gonna do microtransactions in this game. It doesn't. Did y'all see a place where that could even take place? Really? Uh, I, I didn't I did. do like cosmetic, um, you know, uh, microtransactions. But I think that you know they they they'll probably do it through expansions. Like you know they'll offer expansions that you can pay for that. Have you know, um, like that add on hours of story content and stuff like that? Yeah, how long like, uh, without you know, subscription and stuff? Yeah, and I, I initially took, uh, I was gonna, I'm sorry, guys, no, I'm, 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 I'm no, but um, because Mike said that he didn't think the game has any likes. Now, initially, I was gonna disagree, but then he said gamers. I'm like, 
He has a point. You got a point there, dude. It's like because this game is not like Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is very limited in what it offered. This game is very vast. So I'm like, if you dedicate yourself to this game, you could play for a long, long time. But you're right. What if the fickle nature of gamers just like, okay, play for two weeks, move on to something else. So maybe you think they need to market this to a different kind of crowd, like not just the casual shooting dudes. I mean, yeah. I would agree with that. I think that. They are putting way, they're investing way too much time and resources, um, trying to appeal to a market of people that a aren't loyal to games and b don't really have much experience playing a kind of game this is because it is as much of as much as Destiny is a shooter, it is an MMO, it is an RPG. You will have to grind. You'll have to communicate with people. Um, it's not all about PvP. There's PVE in the game as well. That's equally important. So yeah. it's like for people who just want to get Destiny to shoot at people. That's really that's not really the right kind of game. I'm not saying that PvP isn't well done or major. It is, but it's not all there is to it. If you get what I'm saying, you can't you can't do what you could do in like in a Call of Duty where you can get this game, and or ba even Battlefield. There are people who buy those games and they don't play the campaign. They go straight to multiplayer just to fight people. You can't yeah, really you're right. you're do right that, about with that case. Destiny. Because the thing is, if you I mean if you played the, the thing for long enough, you notice that all the really cool unlocks they come from the single player or the you know the co-op part. They don't exactly. you don't get that sh yeah you don't get that shit from PvP. You just get whatever you bring over from the main campaign. So I don't know if people will understand. It's like you need to invest a lot of time into the main portion of this game in order for you to have all that cool shit to bring over to PvP. I don't know if they'll understand that. And remember yeah. and consider this. Two hundred and fifty million dollars worth of advertisement alone are being pumped into this game. They need to focus on the right kind of people here. People like yes. I guess most of us here, because people, you know, us, we will devote all that time to grinding and doing all that other shit. I don't know if these other guys will, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah that was one thing. Yeah, one thing that I noticed that'll probably also kill it for the people that are MMO fans is uh, there between the three different classes that they have, there's really no um, kind of cohesion between them. There's there's no support class and heal class and stuff like that. There's there's no benefit uh, to having those individuals, those three different yes. things mixed up. Yes, I was just about to say that. I there's I no benefit that. whatsoever. Yeah, like I I even looked into some of the abilities further in, and there's still nothing there. It's all just build up your server, build up your armor and your attack damage and stuff like that, and your and your cooldowns, but nothing where it's like if you're near such and such. Or you know whoever's near you gains armor, that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's that's where the longevity part kind of comes into me because how is that going to work out? Because this is a game really founded on working together. That's how it's going to work. But if it's just going to be just shooters and that's what they want, then I agree with Mike. It's not going to last. I'm curious to hear what Rich was going to say since he wanted to wait. Yeah. Well. Let, let me just say this. Um, <clears throat> when I started playing the game, uh, it got repetitive very fast. Of course, I did not play with others, so I'm pretty sure that that had a lot to do with the experience that I had. Because it's recommended that you play with, you know, friends to get the full experience. But what I noticed when I started playing the story mode, it is pretty much the same. You will go to a location, um, and you eventually will face off against a boss. Uh, on each stage. Well, not really a boss boss, but basically the main guy, the main person you have to take down. Because I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot more powerful bosses um, once the final game comes out. But it felt slightly repetitive. The AI, you know, wasn't challenging because if, it, if it's just me and I'm able to take down all the enemies, that's a problem. So I would think that when you add other people in, the AI increases. I can't say for sure I know because I didn't play with anybody. Um, but other than that, you know, when it got down to the com combat, it felt very much like Halo. Um, not a bad thing, of course, but I will say this. I know you guys mentioned earlier about the fact that this game could have the potential to become slightly overhyped and, you know, of course, not last quite as long. I do think this game is going to be a little overhyped already because I saw a lot of people writing about the beta online, everybody's saying, I did not see that one person talking about any, anything negative. And I'm thinking to myself, no, nah, there's some stuff they still need to fix. Um, the story is still kind of 
when I did the story player, the single player mode, the story is still developing. I, I know they intentionally didn't put a lot of that stuff in there because they want you to get the finished game. But I just think so far it is good enough to draw my attention, but will I continue onward? Well, that I'll have to wait and see when I actually play the final build. Um, but so far, it felt very much like Halo to me, um, except for it's a lot more, you know, it has a lot more going for it for the, for the, as, yeah. far, as far as being something new. Yeah, I agree with you. It does feel like Halo. It really does. Yeah. Like in terms of controls, yeah, it, it feels like a like a. And I, I hate to say this because people are maybe gonna think I'm a fanboy, but you know, it's a better Halo because I like the deep dual shot controller better. But yeah, it really does feel like Halo. Like even the even outside of the controls, like the animations, like when you hit someone and stuff, the way the enemies react is very Halo-ish. <laughs> yeah, oh, I agree. I agree. But like, um, the, there's a lot of the Halo stuff being compared because of the controls and Mass Effect because of the the setting. But I, I gotta admit, Mike saying that it's like Fantasy Star Online is probably the best comparison I've heard so far, just because of the the way you have that hub city and the yeah. way you go out into the world and everything. Yeah. And I don't know how much you guys explored it, but I I went out to some of the areas I was not supposed to go to. Oh, you mean when you find those dudes with the question marks over them and stuff? Yeah, so I saw the question mark and I got I got sniped immediately and that was yo. one shot kill, I was done. Yeah, man. Like yo, one guy I went into the cave, I saw the question mark, I'm like, fuck this. I turned around, this dude came after me, just killed me from behind. I'm like, okay, don't fuck with that, man. No, no, no. That's another thing. I'm, I'm glad that kind of stuff is good. I think they said that when the game ships, the max level is twenty. Really? 20? Seriously? Yeah, I've been told that the max level is going... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I could be wrong in this. Let me preface this. Don't attack me in the comments saying that I'm giving wrong information. <laughs> I am not sure. <laughs> I'm stating this now. But I've been told by people that the max level will be 20. So, and I'm sitting there thinking, I'm hoping this isn't another situation where, like with Fallout 3 to me, where I can hit the max level really early. Dude, I'm I, to, dude, like, and, and like Fallout, they're gonna add a fucking DLC when you get five more levels. So you gotta pay yeah, for that. I see that happening. I'm, I don't <laughs> want that to happen. Cause for a game like Man. for a game like Destiny is trying to be, that's the type of game that I'm ready to sit down and dedicate hours to with friends and Word. grind and just explore. Exactly. So and I don't, so I don't mind taking a long time. Yeah. So if they're limiting me to twenty, unless they're using the mindset that they want you to make a character of each class. But that can't really be the case because, like you said earlier, the classes are pretty much identical. Only the difference is the weapons you get here and there. Yeah. It's not like they change the gameplay or how you help your team or anything. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I still have a lot of questions about Destiny. I am not fully sold on it yet. And think about it like so this. Like, you could get to level 8 in one night. Level 8, that's almost halfway there. How long is it going to get you to yeah. get to 20? Like three days? That's, and see, that's why I was. That's why I'm skeptical that the the max level is 20. Because if you can get to level eight that quickly, I'm like, there's, they can't. There's no way. If they did that, yeah, I, that's that's really gonna kill some of people of that, that grind really really heavy. Because I'm like with yeah. Final Fantasy, I got to level 50. Like if I didn't have a job, I would have been there in like a week. Because I get really obsessed <laughs> with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But but the the fact if if that 20 thing is real. That tells me two things. One, that's how they're going to make this game last 10 years or whatever. That's how they're going to do it by limiting people like that. And two, mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to buy it. If the cap is 20, like, I, I can't do that, man. Well, if happen. you guys know, I mean, we'll, we'll probably find out before this gets posted. But just let us know what the next level, know the max level and the retail is in the comments. And keep in mind, preface again. I am not certain of this. I am saying that this is what I have been told. Do not shoot the messenger. <laughs> that's, that's all I can tell you. I don't know. All in all, I think I think Destiny is a quality game. I'm happy it's being made. I'm happy it's coming out. I'm happy it's multi-platform, so there's no excuses. Everyone can play it on all systems, new and old. You have a chance to experience this. So, And like I said, like, I mean, I was a huge fan. Like, Fancy Star Online... On my Dreamcast and even on the GameCube, when I got that version, like I went full neck beard for those games. Like I didn't care. I was musty. <laughs> I was not playing regularly. I was just playing Fancy Star, and the world was passing me by.
And I don't regret those times because those games were fun. I met really cool people as well. Like the community there was good. And I could see that happening with a game like Destiny, except for the fact that they try to be a, appealing to the dude bros and the gamer girls and all those people that aren't really the type that would get into a game like Destiny. So I don't know. We'll see, though. Yeah, to be determined. But uh, once again, to reiterate, for those that want to check it out, that beta is out now, so definitely check it out. Let us know what you think of it in the comments section. 